Hello everybody, my name is Michael from Polygon Island. Today I'm coming with a quick tutorial on how to show you guys how to use and composite the mist pass into your renders in Blender. So if you don't know what the mist pass is, it's basically a mask, um, a layer that adds mist to your render. And the way it does that is objects farther in the back of your render are less opaque than objects up front. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to actually take that mist pass once you have it or show you guys how to use that mist pass in your render. So the first thing we're going to do um, is first we're going to go into this little uh, icon right here. It's called uh, layer properties and under passes we're just going to check mist. Uh, this will make it to where ren uh, Blender renders out a mist pass along with your normal render. Uh, so um, I did a video on render passes before in the past. If you guys want you can check it out. Uh, but right now, uh, all we have to do from this point is just render uh, your image, whatever you have, render your scene out. Uh, just like normal, hit F12 or just go up here to render and then render um, image. Um, and so once you have your image rendered out, this is the image that I have. Uh, this is something that I just made. And I'm going to use a mist pass on it, so might as well make a tutorial on it. So um, once you have your render here, um, right now it's very noisy. I'm going to add a denoise node in the compositor, so don't worry about that. But uh, if we go up here to the top left, if we click Combined and then we click Mist, we can see that we have um, this new pass right here. So you can see uh, the objects in the front are black, uh, everything back there is white, and everything just gets progressively whiter as it goes back. Um, and yeah, that's you have these two passes. Uh, so now how do we use these? How do we uh, take our Mist Pass, overlay it onto our render? <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to minimize this window and we're going to go up here at the very top to this tab where it says compositing and then we're going to go up here to the left where it says use nodes. So we're going to click use nodes and you can see um, under render layers we now have this mist pass thing that uh, wouldn't normally be there if you didn't check that pass, uh, the mist pass at the beginning. So how do we use this? So first thing we're going to do, uh, like always, like I say in like every one of my tutorials, we're going to enable node wrangler. So if you don't know what Node Wrangler is, it's a free add-on that's included with Blender. makes working with nodes a lot easier. So if you just go up here to the top left on Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and then just type in Node. Uh, you should see Node Wrangler right here. Just check it, um, enable it, make sure it's turned on, and then we're good. So um, now what we're going to do is if we click this Render Layers, and we Control-Shift-Click, and we keep Control-Shift-Clicking, we can eventually see uh, that we're getting to our... Um, render layers. Uh, we can view each render layer separately. So um, after viewing our mist layer, um, if we just control shift click on this again, we can go through all the layers. Uh, once we have our mist layer, what we can do is we can hit shift A, uh, add a normalized node to this, um, and this will kind of just, uh, sometimes it can do something, sometimes it won't. It just depends really. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to hit uh, on we're going to take this normalize, we're going to hit shift A, uh, we're going to take a color ramp, uh, we're going to put it next to the normalize, and then this basically just lets us control the whites and blacks of our mist pass. Uh, so moving this flag up increases the black value, moving this increases the white value. It just gives us a little bit more control on the mist pass itself. Uh, and so now once we have that, what we can do is we can click our color ramp and hit control plus, and this will give an add node. So with this add node, it basically just adds two things together. Um, no shocker there. But what we can go ahead and do is we can go ahead and take our image and then put it on the second uh, input of the add node. And you can see now we have, um, if I go over here to view on the left and click fit, you can see that we now have our mist pass. Um, and we can also just take our color ramp and just kind of bring these down a little bit to something like this. Um, also, if you really want um, to add something to this, uh, what we can do hit what we can go ahead and do is hit Control Plus on this Add Node again, and then just add the depth pass to it uh, like that. And then we can just duplicate our color ramp. I'm gonna move this. Uh, I'm gonna duplicate our color ramp into our depth pass, and then just kind of move these up. Uh, the depth path is not working on this one, uh, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these, but that's just something um, if you really wanted to do, uh, you can go ahead and do that. But uh, for now, 
I'd say this is pretty okay. Um, you can fool around with your missed pass if you want. Um, I'm just going to kind of do this. Um, and so now we have our missed. Um, so um, just mess around with it, really. Uh, that's all you really have to do. Um, so all you really have to do is just mess around with uh, these flags right here. Uh, sorry, I forgot what I was saying. Um, and then you have your missed pass. So um, if we go from render result uh, to uh, viewer node, and we click viewer node, we can see the difference uh, between this and that. So uh, some scenes... It does work. Some scenes, it looks very blown out. This scene specifically, the background is very blown out. So I'm going to have to do some adjustments. I might not use the miss pass in this one. Uh, but this this is how you do it if you were to make, uh, if you were to use a miss pass. So uh, thanks guys so much for watching. My name is Michael from Polygon Island. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.